Hi, this is Jeannie, and today I'm going to show you how to make a fluff box to fluff out your bows. So you're going to need a piece of wood. Uh, my piece is like 10 inches by 10 inches, and it's about an inch and a half thick. Uh, this just came, well, we were building a deck on the back of the house, and I got this out of the uh, scrap wood pile, and then I just took a sander and just kind of buff off those rough edges and I'm gonna paint it. So the other things that you'll need, uh, of course I just got some paint from Walmart and something to paint with. You're gonna need a little uh, screw eye type hook. Uh, this one is a, um, it says a, a 14, uh, one and an eighth inch, no, something, no, I don't know, I really can't read that, but it's a number 14, but, it's a little eyelet screw, and you can see that this is uh, just about closed. You're going to need to open that up a little bit, and you can do that with a, a screwdriver or something, or get your husband to do it, but you just need to open that up a little bit. And after we get it painted, we're going to screw that in the middle. So you'll put that little eyelet screw, and you can use a cup hook too. Put that right in the middle, and then I have another tiny little nail that we're going to drive uh, in to this end. So the first thing I'm going to do is just paint it and let that dry. Okay, after you put two coats on your board, then you want to just start you a little hole in the center. And you can put your screw in easier if you start a little hole first. You take the screw that you opened up the eye a little bit. And you're going to screw it down in there. And uh, you may have to have some help with this. You know, I may have to get my husband to get that started for me better. And of course, don't pay any attention to my paint job. This is treated lumber and it's still green, so that's okay. You don't even have to paint it. I just thought it looked a little better. This is a trick my daddy taught me. You want to screw that all the way down to where just the eye is sticking up. couple more turns. Okay. Now then, I'm going to take this little nail. I could have used one shorter, but I didn't have one that was shorter. I'm going to tap it in right here. Maybe about a quarter of an inch. Okay, so that's it. 
So, now then, when you have your wire around your bow, you're going to slide that right under the right under the hook there and then wrap your wire around this end. That way it'll hold your bow so you can pull and fluff. Okay, I'm going to make a simple bow and then show you how to how to use the bow fluffing board. Just move that out of the way for right now. This is the Easy Bow Maker, and I like it because it holds your ribbon in place for you, and it just makes bow making easier. So uh, this is just going to be a simple bow. I'm not going to make a real big one, so that's going to be like an 8-inch tail. And drop that between the two posts. Give it a twist. Get the right side up. Oh, I don't have much left on that so I'm just do a couple of loops we'll do like a about a five inch give that a twist like another five inch loop and that's all I've got left of that so we'll just cut that off and then this is a one and a half inch Make the same length of tail, drop that down. It's uh, different, it's, it has a right side and a wrong side. So turn it, get your right side up. I'm making the same size loop, a five inch. And there's so many different ways that you can make your bows. This is just a quick bow so that I can show you how to use the fluff box. I'll do four loops, two on each side of this brown and white uh, ribbon. This ribbon is very stiff. It's sort of a canvas-like. It's real stiff. All this ribbon is wired. And then we'll finish off with this sun yellow ribbon. Now this time we're gonna make our loops just a little bit smaller. We're going to make them about four and a half inches, just a little smaller. And this ribbon is the same on both sides, so you don't have to twist it, but I just go ahead and twist it just to keep doing the same thing. Gonna end that off, and I'll even up those tails when I get through. I'm gonna press that stack down and cut a piece of floor wire. This is just silver paddle wire. Cut a piece of that with wire cutters. Okay. Now I'm gonna ease my bow up off the board. It's all stacked together. I'm going to hold on, keep it stacked. You can see how the stacks are. The stack is, take my wire, put it right over the center where I'm holding my thumb, put it around to the bottom, twist that a time or two, and I'm going to turn the bow. It's, it's easier to turn the bow at, instead of trying to twist the wire, okay? So now I've got my two pieces of wire. Now, I'm going to take my fluff box or board, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to take the wire and slide it right under the eye hook. Okay, I'm going to pull that tight and then I'm going to come around and take the other piece of the wire and wrap it around this little nail. Just, you know, two times, that's enough, and then just slide the wire under the bottom, get it out of the way. Now then, you've got your ribbon where you can fluff out your loops without being worried that you're gonna, you know, it's just easier. You don't have to hold onto it with one hand and try to fluff out with the other. So you can just start with the bottom loops and work your way up any way that you wanna do it. Fluff out those loops. Okay, and 
then you can even up your tails. You want to be able to see all of your loops and tails. Okay, so that's it. Now then, you can just unwrap your wire and ease your bow off the board. There you go.